Good morning. This might be an unusual presentation. I hope you don't mind. Uncle Jay is like, oh. <laughs> I just have two questions for you. First question, can energy be nearly free? Can energy be nearly free? Here's the price of oil since 1975. And here's the price of solar since 1975. A 430x price reduction, about 50% every five years. If we can continue this trend another 20 years, solar will be so cheap, it'll be nearly free. So how do we cover the last mile? In short, cell efficiency. How do we do that? We're building a center of excellence factory that we believe is the missing link because it's the unique type of entity that can rapidly commercialize new, high efficiency cell architectures. It's a place where all the leading solar companies can come to iterate, accelerate, and scale their best designs. And it doesn't exist anywhere in the Western world. High margin, high value cell designs. What Micron does for chip design, we're doing for solar cells. And solar cells are where all the magic happens in a solar module. It's the part that turns sunlight into current. It's where all the IP and innovation is. So improving cell efficiency is how we deliver clean and nearly free energy for all mankind. We're at a major inflection point. We believe we're entering a golden age of energy production a period of true abundance. Solar is at the dawn of an era. Second question. What if almost everything had its own energy supply? Almost everything in space powered by solar. Here's NASA's gateway platform for astronauts orbiting the moon. Here's its electric propulsion system, the most efficient kind of propulsion from low Earth orbit and beyond reducing the amount of propellant by 90%. Here's the system NASA is testing to power the moon base. But also here on Earth, your car can be powered by solar, and it can look like this. The skin and windows of our buildings powered by solar, and it can look like this, and this. The siding and windows of your house powered by solar and it can look like this. Why do I think so? We already have it. It's already here. These are the markets we serve, and we're already serving them with existing infrastructure. We're now at the point where aesthetics and design are front and center. Tech should be cool, attractive, inspiring. In the short term, there's a trade-off between aesthetics and function. But in the long term, aesthetics inspire function. We use the things we like and we make them better. Aesthetics inspire function. When solar is this cheap and looks this good, we can put it everywhere. And decentralized energy production is resilient energy production. It's a national security issue. We're building the most advanced solar cell foundry in the world. And call me biased, but I think it belongs right here in Boise. Boise could be the global hub of solar innovation. Boise could power the world. Soon, we'll have cities that power themselves, and it could be with solar built right here in Boise. When we colonize the moon and Mars, it could be with solar built right here in Boise. Right now is the pivotal moment that decides whether this happens in Boise or somewhere else. This is the future we're building. If you like it, we want to meet you. We have some of our team here. Senator Larry Craig, Mick Wiskersion, Decker Rolf. Say hi, we want to meet you. For the last couple decades, Asia's been kicking our butt. But that's all about to change. This is grit and ingenuity that won World War II. This 
is American industrial dynamism. This is what a comeback looks like, and we're going to win.